live where news comes first. This is WECT News. Good evening, everyone. We thank you so much for watching on this Thursday night. I'm John Evans. And I'm Daniela Hanke. New at 11, many think of Tornado Alley as Texas, Oklahoma, and even Kansas. But there's new research that says Tornado Alley could actually be closer to us than you might think. WECT's Delaney Tarpley learned more about the study and actually talked with emergency managers about it. So Delaney, these researchers have actually found tornadoes are coming closer to the East Coast than ever before. That's right, John. According to the research in the past three decades, tornadoes have become more frequent in states like Mississippi, Tennessee and Kentucky. Those storms have taken lives in our part of North Carolina and that has emergency managers working to make sure neighbors know what to do before another one hits. It's a twist in what many meteorologists previously thought. The traditional tornado alley of Texas and Oklahoma uh, was, was correct back, you know, 50, 40 years ago. But tornado alley, the primary tornado risk area has shifted to the east. Dr. Tim Coleman, a meteorologist and professor at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, says that is the main takeaway of his study. His team charted tornadoes dating back to 1951. While the Great Plains served as the primary risk area until 1985, twisters became more frequent in the Midwest and Southeast through 2020. And the damage they've done has gotten much worse. The amount of damage done has increased because there's just a lot more people. Um, and a lot, you know, and especially, you know, the Southeast has really exploded in population. Whereas, you know, 50 years ago, a, a significant tornado may have just mainly hit trees. Now it's hitting subdivisions, neighborhoods, businesses, and things of that nature. Brunswick County's Emergency Management Director David McIntyre says his team is more prepared to handle tornadoes now than a few years ago. He says that's partially because of a deadly tornado that hit the Ocean Ridge Plantation neighborhood back in 2021. That kind of woke everybody up in the sense of, hey, we're susceptible to these storms. McIntyre says his main priority now is educating the public on the potential dangers. Understanding the difference between tornado watches and warnings, um, what actions to take in the event they're in the path of a warning. The public education side, and preparedness is what we want to focus on in the, currently and in the future. Dr. Coleman says in his opinion, though, tornadoes are not our biggest threat. Honestly, as far as, you know, for your area, as well as the Gulf Coast here and here where I live in Alabama, uh, this hurricane season looks like it's going to be very active, and I'm more concerned about that at the moment. Dr. Coleman says his research team did not try to dive into what the cause of this shift might be, but he said one possible factor could be climate change. As for whether the path continues to shift east, he says in his scientific opinion, there's no way to tell right now, so more research will need to be done. All right, Delaney, appreciate the story. Thanks.